Well, Circus Tribola is here for the, the final weekend and we're very lucky to have obtained the venue and for Corinne and Alex to host us here. It's a first and it's just overwhelming to have finally stood here on a site as iconic as this where the world's best have stood. So um, we're really proud of that. It's, it's first. After such a difficult 20 months as well, I mean, to, to even think that you'd be in the big top again. Well, yeah, it's been a long, hard road, really has, um, you know, like so many other people. Um, and um, we just can't thank um, Father Tobin, Una Duke, Liz Donnelly, the support of our community and locals and friends and so many other people who have helped us get this far. Catherine Martin, of course, she um, gave us the LPSS grant to make this possible. So, um, you know, there's a lot of factors at play. Jared at ba Bailey, so many people have helped us along the way and we're, we're very grateful to them. Cannot beat live entertainment. Um, it's the oldest art form there is. Um, get out there and enjoy it. If you haven't taken your kids, go. The pandemic decimated live entertainment and in particular circus families whose livelihoods depend on audiences filling big tops. Local TD Pather Tobin was singled out for praise for assistance he provided to the Jabola and Duffy families. Yeah, well I tell you, first of all, my heart is pumping from what I saw in there. It was death to find stuff. I've never seen such a spectacular show in all my life. And I think, I think having not seen a live show for such a long time, you really appreciate it when you see it. And I'm delighted they're back on their feet and they're motoring at the moment. And they came in a good number of months ago and um, literally they were without any help from the state whatsoever. And for me, like traditional circus is one of the most important performance art we have in this country. It goes back hundreds of years. Um, and if it didn't have support, it would have fallen apart. So I was just delighted to see that I push as much for them as I can uh, in government. And thankfully they got the money they needed to keep going. And here they are entertaining the masses of meat again. For Mikey Gerbola, his whole life has been the circus, and the residency at Slane Castle, the collaboration with fellow circus families, the Duffies and the Fossets, has been an emotional experience, and one they hope to build on into 2022. Just absolutely amazing. Um, you know, we haven't worked in so long, and now we have, we're so nervous, you know, so, so nervous, but we pulled it off, you know, so. Yeah. But you, you, you came back bigger and stronger than ever. The collaboration with the Duffies as well. I mean, two proud me families, two proud Bohemian families. You must be just thrilled just to be back and entertaining people. Yeah, well, look, the only way we could have pulled it off was if we all came together, you know, because, like, the equipment's sitting up for so long, it's disrepair, and I have to go now when I finish here and start getting everything ready again for next season, you know, mm. so at least hopefully whatever we make here will go towards the equipment and upgrading it and stuff like that, you know. So, I mean, we couldn't have done it without the three of, the three of us, you know. Do you feel you have a bit of momentum now behind you going into 2022? And um, Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. But it's been like, this has just been an absolute amazing experience. It's not just like a circus show, it's like a collaboration, especially with the Vintage Fun Fair here, the romance of it, you know. Everything is like old-fashioned romantic and... What more can I say, you know? Mikey and the Jubal Affair!